I learned these five things in Mark Rober's creative engineering class. How to quickly brainstorm ideas, a handful of prototyping methods and how to intelligently set up an experiment, the importance of story-motivated builds, a proper CAD workflow, as well as all sorts of video style considerations, and how to implement them in the editing process. Now I want to give you an overview of each concept, why I think they're important, and how Mark explains them in a way you're sure to learn from. I would know, because even I was able to learn a few things. And just to be clear, this video is not sponsored. I have no business relationship with Monthly.com or with Mark. I'm just a fan who has watched his videos for years and wanted to take my design skills to the next level. Number one, brainstorming. Whether you're coming up with ways to improve a build, or looking for a project idea to start with, proper brainstorming is key. You can only get so many ideas staring at a blank whiteboard before you inevitably cave from frustration. Urgh! Most likely you won't have come up with something as interesting, useful, or cool as you could have with the defined process. Mark solves this by starting out with general scenarios for a project, working his way down to the individual build ideas, then determining the actionable steps needed to complete those builds. He writes all of these down, live, on note cards, discussing his thoughts on each concept that he comes up with. His focus on broad picture before specifics allows him to maximize the breadth of ideas he comes up with, leaving him with many choices to pull from at the end. Number two, prototyping and experimenting. Testing multiple ideas is the backbone of engineering. Trying out various designs, materials, and manufacturing methods is crucial to getting an ideal final result. If you jump straight into a build, you'll inevitably come across pitfalls you could have easily avoided with a simple experiment. Even if you can throw together a good solution, you'll likely miss a great one that you would have come across with a bit more prototyping. Mark demonstrates a variety of techniques for quickly testing which of your ideas are viable. He does this using PVC, wood, off-the-shelf electronics, and basic hand tools. So rest assured, there is no barrier between you and creating something something great. You'll also learn how to design a simple experiment because, let's face it, sometimes Google just doesn't have the information you need for a specific project. And after gathering some data, some simple analysis will help you drive the design process forward. Number three, story motivated builds. Making things takes a lot of time and effort. Even a common build like this air cannon involves numerous design decisions. If you're making something just for yourself, by all means, build whatever you want. For many projects though, you're creating for others as well. Maybe you have a YouTube channel like I do, or you work on a team in school, or at a company developing new products. At some point in each scenario, you'll be presenting your work to somebody else in an attempt to get them on board with your idea, either through entertainment and a view, or acceptance of the idea and further license to continue the project. Throughout his brainstorming sessions, Mark touches on which build ideas will resonate most with his audience. The more people who can relate to an idea, the more likely he is to build that, and he runs through examples of how he makes those decisions. On top of that, he continually refines his ideas throughout the entire build process, adding features that will captivate his viewers further, and removing those that would require large amounts of effort with little payoff. After you finish the class, you'll have a much better understanding of how to maximize what I'm going to call your design ROI. Number four, CAD workflow. CAD stands for Computer Aided Design. Engineers use it to digitally plan their projects in a 3D space. Whether or not you've worked with CAD software before, it's amazing to watch Mark recreate a complex shape in a short time using only a handful of basic commands. By doing so, Mark is able to pre-plan an entire build, designing it much more quickly than if he was to hand make each part, all while costing him nothing but his time. He goes over six basic commands, how to use them, and in what order, to easily build up a model of the blender shown in the class's promo Video. After that, he places the electronic components to determine which custom parts are needed, and then references the model while modifying the actual blender for his build. I've used CAD for a number of years, and while I wouldn't consider myself advanced, I know my way around a few programs, and even with that knowledge, I still gained a lot from Mark's demonstration. The way he breaks down the process gives you a framework for recreating all kinds of objects and custom parts. Number five, video style and editing. How many times have you watched a YouTube video that drones on way longer than it needs to? I'll be the first to admit, if you've watched some of my previous videos, I can guarantee you felt this. I'm working on improving my video style, and Mark's insight is helping me do just that. We talked about story-motivated builds earlier, and the sign of a great story is captivating others to the point where they want to share your work. With YouTube, this is a great way to grow your channel, and in the workplace, colleague buy-in is necessary to move a project forward. To finish out the course, Mark discusses how to script a video, pare down clips, choose music, and adjust flow. He does this while going over how he filmed and edited the actual promo video for the class. His methods focus on the process rather than specific commands, meaning they aren't tied to any particular editing software. No matter which program you use or how skilled of an editor you are, you'll definitely learn some techniques that will add a bit more polish to your finished videos. Now with all these topics and much more included in the class, I'm confident you'll leave with several valuable new skills. If you're new to making, you'll love seeing the various techniques Mark uses to create his builds. 
You'll also begin to learn the terminology used by makers, allowing you to more easily communicate your design ideas to others. As for you veteran engineers, you'll likely be familiar with Mark's building techniques. Instead, you'll benefit from seeing the brainstorming, experimentation, and CAD processes used by an experienced engineer like Mark. He's refined his over the years, and each method is easy to follow and repeat for quickly iterating on a build. No matter which group you fall into, you'll also enjoy Mark's focus on story. For me, this was the most interesting part. I love making all kinds of things, from electronic devices I use daily, to completely mechanical builds that just make me laugh. <laughs> Of course, I'm attempting to grow this YouTube channel, so it makes sense why this would catch my eye. But it means something for you too. I'm always eager to share my projects with friends and family, even off screen, and I'm sure you are as well. Whether you build for work or just for fun, Mark's mindset behind why you might choose a particular idea over another will really come in handy. Speaking of which, I've made some pretty cool stuff over the past year from the desk automator you just saw to a lighted backpack and a set of reactive cornhole boards. Those videos are live on my channel right now, and as for future projects, I have several in the works that I made during Mark's class, which I'll be releasing in the near future. Spoiler alert, there's gonna be a little of this. 30 PSI. <laughs> and a whole lot more of this. <laughs> Whether you've seen my videos or not, I hope you gained something from this review. Mark is a talented engineer that has structured his entire YouTube career around teaching science to others, and he does a phenomenal job of that. If you know anything about him, you've probably heard his dream job is teaching high school physics. I can tell you one thing after taking his class. If I ever have kids, I want them to be students of Mark's. Please consider subscribing for more projects, and most importantly, thank you for watching.